Amanda, where are you? We have a new show to do. What, what do you mean you're in Japan? Hold on, I'll get you over here. Okay, you should be arriving any second. Woo! That was a flight. Good morning, morning New Egypt. Egypt. I'm Sam Dreyer. And I'm Amanda Newman. And this is the New, new Egypt, Egypt News. This Thursday night, a new Mr. NEHS will be crowned. Come out and support the senior boy and his partner who are representing your club or sport. The senior boys have been working hard to get ready, so don't miss what is sure to be an exciting and fun-filled evening of entertainment. There are only a few days left to enter the poetry contest. The two best original student poems will receive a $50 gift card. The last day to submit your poem is next Monday, April 30th. Poems must be printed out and submitted in the yellow box in the IMC. It is under the Poetry Contest bulletin board. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Wilno. Continuing with the Alcohol Awareness Month series, here is peer leader Mackenzie Normile with another alcohol fact. Today's fact for Alcohol Awareness Month is that research indicates that alcohol use during the teenage years could interfere with adolescent brain development and lead to alcohol abuse problems later in life. If you would like more information about resources and services that are available, you can see Mr. Jagel. The Interact Club is collecting New Egypt student donations for Stoneman Douglas High School. Any students who donate $2 or more will receive a bracelet. The braces are printed with the words New Egypt for Parkland and Douglas Strong. Last week, the wrestling team hosted a performance by Skylar the Hypnotist. Everyone who came out had a great time and saw some very interesting things. Here are a few highlights from the performance. Right now, when I'm touching on the shoulder right now, the count of three, I want you to open your eyes. You're going to find that you have a problem all your own. Every time, every single time you see me touch my forehead, whenever you see me touch my forehead, you are going to think that you have just become one month further pregnant. We can test if you want to. No. You ready? You know, <laughs> count of three, sit up in your chair and take a look at your finger at the count of three. One, two, and three. There is a bird stuck <laughs> to your finger. That is weird. Sit up in your chair. I have never seen anything. Yeah, sit up in a chair. Yeah, sit up in your chair with your bird anywhere. You can sit over here if you want. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. It's nice though. I like it. It's pretty. So what do you what do you got? It's not important. Uh, what do you got over here? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> well, won't go anywhere. What's the matter? Birds. I see that. What kind of yours? Freaking eagle. I see that. We'll work at it. After the show, we spoke to some students about the event. I thought it was great. It was pretty funny seeing some of my classmates freak out. What was the weirdest thing you saw tonight? <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Fremmel being pregnant. In sports, upcoming Warrior home games includes Girls Lacrosse Wednesday, April 25th against Robbinsville at 3.45 p.m. The baseball team will take on Maple Shade this Thursday, April 26th at 4 p.m. Boys Lacrosse will take on Middletown North Saturday, April 28th at 11 a.m. Come out and support all of your Warrior athletes. The Video and Photography Club will have a bake sale on Thursday, April 26th in the front foyer. Stop by and pick up a tasty treat for your bus ride home or a quick snack before practice. That's, That's the news. Have, Have a great day, day, New Egypt. Egypt.